In this video, we are going to discuss a problem from quantum mechanics. This type of problem is very important for your exam, so it will definitely help you. So let me read the question first. The question reads like this. The wave function of a particle on a, in a state is psi equals to n exponential minus x squared by 2 alpha, where n equal to uh, 1 by pi alpha divided by 1 by 4. Evaluate delta x and delta p. So you know that delta x and delta p represents the uncertainty. Okay, so we have to find out delta x and delta p. And what is given to us? The wave function psi equals to n exponential minus x square by 2 alpha. This is given to you and this is unnormalized but they have provided the you the normalization con con constant. By providing the value of n that is 1 by pi alpha to the power 1 by 4 exponential minus x square by 2 alpha. So this is non-normalized wave function and this is normalized wave function. So that uh, your calculation becomes easy. That's why they have provided you that. Let me check whether I have written it correctly or not on the pi alpha to the 1 by 4 exponential minus x square 2 alpha. Okay. So no, to find out delta x, we know that uh, the formula of for this, so let me write it in square because we are, we don't want to go to into a square thing, square root thing, okay? So x square average minus x average square. So this is the formula for uh, delta x square. Similarly, for delta p square, we can write it as p square average minus p average square, okay? So basically, we need to find out four terms. So let's start with the uh, average uh, by finding average of x. So average of x, and that is basically psi x psi. Okay. So what can you write from this? This can be written as uh, minus infinity plus infinity psi star x psi dx. So I am writing all the steps for the first one. And I will not be repeating the other thing, the same thing for the other three terms. Okay. I hope you will understand. So size to size means basically there is no uh, iota, iota thing. So it's basically a simple square of this wave function. So what does it become n square uh, integration over minus infinity plus infinity x into exponential minus x square by alpha. So if you take a square of this thing, then the two in the denominator get cancelled out and dx. So as you can see x is an odd function but this is an even function and the multiplication of this odd and even function makes the integrand odd. So it will basically produce zero because the integrand is odd. Okay, so we got uh, the value of average of x is 0. So let's find out what is the value of x square average. So if you try to find out x square average, how can we find out? In the similar way, so I am writing it for you, minus infinity plus infinity psi star x square psi dx. Okay. So in the same way, it will produce n square in minus infinity plus infinity x square exponential minus x square by alpha dx simply. Okay. So n square. Now to carry out this integration, we need to uh, memorize or we need to remember a standard formula. Otherwise, it will take a lot of time. So I'm writing the formula for you. The generalized formula is written like this, minus infinity plus infinity x to the power n e to the power minus uh, a x square d. Okay, sorry, a x to the power n. If you are given in this, uh, this formula, then you can write it as this is equals to 1 into 3 into 5 into dot dot dot, it can go up to n minus 1 into root of r pi by 2 to the power n a to the power n plus 1 
and this is valid when we have n is greater or equals to 2 and even and if it is greater or equals to 1 and odd then it will produce 0 let me check whether it is correct or not yes it is correct so this formula you can write this is going to help you a lot so we'll briefly apply the formula over here so here n equals to 2 so 1 will definitely come because 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 into root over pi by 2 to the power n n is 2 here so to the power 2 a to the power n plus 1 a is 1 by alpha here so 1 by alpha 2 plus 1 is cube okay and n square is n is given to you as 1 by pi alpha to the 1 by 4 so it's basically 1 by root over pi alpha and this if you carry out then this 2 is square so 1 by 2 will come out so I'm writing it as 1 by 2 and alpha cube will go upward so pi alpha into alpha we can write alpha cube is there so if you write it as alpha into alpha square then alpha square will come out, uh, come out from the root as alpha and or alpha will remain and that will cancel out here so it is basically producing alpha by 2 ok so value of x square is alpha by 2 now we have already found out uh, delta x square so what is the value x x average x average you have got uh, to be 0 and x square average we have just find out if you, that is equal to alpha by 2 so we are just writing it here the value of x square uh, delta x average square is alpha by 2 now uh, let's calculate for p average and p square average ok so we'll first uh, evaluate p average So, if we calculate P average, the formula is straightforward, which I have given you in the earlier moment, minus infinity plus infinity, uh, psi star P psi dx. Now, the operator P is written in this in this way, that uh, operator P is like this, minus i cut del del x. This is uh, a momentum operator and it can be written in this way. So basically it will be producing n square minus infinity plus infinity. So we are uh, keeping one uh, psi here and p psi. So minus i h cut del del x and this psi exponential minus x square by 2 alpha times dx. Fine. Therefore, that e equals to n square minus infinity plus infinity exponential minus x square by 2 alpha. And uh, let me take out minus i h cut uh, from the integration. So, delta del x of this thing will produce uh, minus x by alpha e to the power minus x square by 2 alpha into dx is that ok therefore uh, minus i is cut n square minus infinity plus infinity and this thing will produce uh, sorry this minus one alpha can be uh, taken outside so minus minus becomes plus and alpha becomes alpha and we are taking it as x and this exponential minus x square by 12 into exponential minus x square 12 will produce exponential minus x square by alpha dx and again we, we can see that this is a fundamental constant literally a constant and this is an odd function uh, but this is an even function and the multiplication of an odd and even function produces an odd function and that makes the integrand odd and that basically produce 0 we know it so average of p is 0 now the last thing we have to determine is average of p square. How can you uh, determine average of p square? The calculation is going to be a little lengthy, but still 
you can enjoy it quantum mechanics is nothing but a very enjoyable part of physics so average of this cap the same way we can write minus infinity plus infinity psi star p square psi dx and p is that we know this minus i is cut till the left so p square will be i minus i is whole square del del x or del square by del x square okay so here basically the one function psi is an explicit function of x only so we can replace del del x by d dx okay so uh, any square will remain outside uh, minus infinity plus infinity exponential minus x square by 2 alpha and p square we can write is i square means minus 1 uh h cut square so we can write minus h cut square okay d square by dx square exponential minus x square by 2 alpha dx that is equals to minus h cut square in square and if you take a single derivative of this thing then minus x alpha will come outside okay so my this my or uh, that minus and this minus will make plus and for common purpose we are taking uh, alpha outside and we can write it minus infinity plus infinity exponential minus x square by 2 alpha and to make the calculation step by step and easier for you i am just i'm not skipping any step so del del d area d d x so we have to carry out one time differentiation so d d x of this thing will produce minus x by alpha so we have already taken out x so yeah on my alpha so the remaining thing is x exponential minus x square by 2 alpha into d x okay therefore h cut square by n, n h cut square n square divided by alpha into uh, minus infinity to plus infinity exponential minus x square by 2 alpha and this will produce two terms firstly we are keeping x and differentiating this thing and that will produce minus x by alpha exponential minus x square by 2 alpha plus we are taking derivative of x and keeping this thing so derivative of uv the same thing is here plus 12 differentiation so if you keep this and take derivative of x so d dx of x is 1 so it's basically exponential minus x square by 2 alpha okay and dx is there so dx okay so that is equals to h cut square n square by alpha and this is producing minus alpha integration over minus infinity plus infinity uh, x square exponential minus x square by alpha plus minus uh, sorry dx is there minus infinity plus infinity exponential minus x square by alpha dx okay now this is equals to h cut square by n square by alpha and we know the formula x square exponential minus x alpha you can find it out from here so minus alpha into 1 into root over pi by 2 to the power n here n is 2 so 2 to the power 2 alpha to the power n plus 1 is alpha cube so here 1 by alpha is there so 1 by alpha q plus and this is the formula we know that uh, minus infinity plus infinity exponential minus a square dx equal to root over pi by a yeah so this is producing root over pi by a a is here 1 by alpha so 1 by alpha so what we can write we can write it as
So h cut square n square by alpha is remaining outside, and this thing is producing. Let's add plus thing first. That will make our vision clear. So that is root over pi alpha minus here alpha is there. Alpha cube will go on the numerator, and if you take alpha square out of the root, then it will come out. As uh, alpha, so alpha square and root over pi alpha and is one by two, so one by two alpha square root over pi alpha. Okay. And this will produce h cut square n square by. Alpha n square we are again put the value of n square and that is one by root over pi alpha into alpha root over pi alpha minus one by two alpha square root over pi alpha into h cut square by alpha root over pi alpha. So this pi alpha, this pi alpha, root of pi alpha cover one. So h cut square of alpha minus this one alpha will cancel this alpha, and this pi root of alpha is cancelled. So minus h cut square by two alpha. Uh, we have done some mistake, I guess. Here, this is one by alpha. That is producing all the miscalculation. One by alpha will come here. Okay, so this alpha. Okay. So if it is so, it will produce minus one by two. Pi alpha, and alpha will go in this way. Okay, so this will produce h cut square uh, alpha root over pi alpha into root over pi alpha minus root over pi alpha by two. Okay, so that is producing h cut square by alpha and minus h cut square by. Alpha. That is basically producing h cut square by alpha. So we have found out uh, value of p square average. That is h cut square by alpha. Therefore, the multiplication of these two things will produce del x del x square del p square alpha by two into h cut square by alpha. Alpha alpha get cancelled, so that is h cut square by four. So if we get the value of this multiplication of squares as h cut square by four, then the required thing delta x into delta p is h cut by two, and that is the final answer. So if you have any question or query regarding this question, you can ask me in the comment section. Finally thanks for watching